Today it's my birthday and I have a day off. I am going to the beach. I'm very excited to tan. Um, I'm gonna get a grab taxi to the beach. It's just about a 10 minute drive. I could have got the bus, but I thought since it's my birthday, I'll treat myself. Um, so yeah, I'm honestly so excited to get a tan. Like I've already caught like a bit of sun, but not too much. Um, so I'm gonna get some food down there, spend the day at the beach. Just arrived at East Coast Park which is where the beach is and there's like a little like lakes here as well it looks really cute although I can see like the whole view is just ships which isn't like a mountain view but that's okay I'm gonna have that in the Philippines um, to be honest my main aim of the day like I said is to tan <laughs> I'm such a tourist but I don't like being pale I love being tanned there's people cycling here I guess people work out here and this is my view This is a food centre where I'm going to try and get lunch. It doesn't look like much is open at the minute, but hopefully by 12 o'clock it is. Oh, look at the cutest home screen I did on my phone because I was missing my mum and sister yesterday. So I set them as my home screen. So cringe. <laughs> I don't usually do stuff like that, but I just loved that photo of them. Um, okay, it looks like there's some kind of zip line or something down here. And there's the sea. Like, that's why I'm jealous of people that live in Singapore, because it's like, this kind of stuff is at your doorstep. And it's just so nice to just come down here and chill out. I think this is possibly one of the coolest things I've ever seen. I don't know if you guys can see, I'm gonna have to try and zoom in, but there's a girl, like, what is that called? I need to find out what that's called. Okay, it's a wakeboarding park. I just looked it up. This is wakeboarding apparently. I've seen people fall off. If I attempted that, I would 100% fall off. I guess people in Singapore don't come to the beach to tan. There's like no one on the beach. So yeah. This is the Wake Park Cafe and Bar. I honestly don't know how people run in this heat. Like I'm sweating out and I've just been walking. Like people, there's so many runners here. It's literally 33 degrees. But I guess when you're used to it, it's like a lot easier. <laughs> This is the map of the park. There's so much here. So this is the little food center I was showing you. And then this is called the lagoon um, where the wakeboarding is. There's a cyclist park, cyclist park. And there's a skate park. And this is like the park spans for so many miles. I don't know how many exactly, but yeah, it's very cool. There's a campsite here as well, and bike rental, and barbecue pits. It's like quite a nice little private beach for myself, but I think I'm gonna set up on. You can see all the ships in the distance. Actually, my cousin was telling me the other day that Singapore was or is um, one of the main points for shipping and trade in Asia. Um, hence all the ships, they're so huge. I might walk down that way a bit because there's some more beaches and see what the vibe is down there. And if not, this is going to be my little spot for the day. This is a seafood restaurant that my um, family were telling me about. It's chili crab, which is apparently Singaporean, jumbo seafood. And you've got an amazing view when you're sat there. I text my cousin 
Like, is it normal that there's no one on the beaches? Like, am I gonna look like a complete weirdo if I sunbathe? And she was like, Lou, it's a Monday, everyone's at work. <laughs> Which is so true. But I thought there'd be some tourists at least. It's literally like there's not a person in sight. There's just um, a lot of people cycling and walking through the park. Apparently you can hire these, um, <laughs> they're called Sweet Ride. It says hire this Sweet Ride. <laughs> <laughs> my spot is still free there that makes me very happy <laughs> we had a little explore and now i'm gonna go eat because i've not eaten yet and it is half 12 so i'm gonna go to the little east coast hawker center hopefully some more stuff's open i do see people sitting in there so let's go find some tasty food there's not a lot open because it's a monday which is understandable but this is looking really good actually. I might get some um, noodles and some meat or some rice and some meat. I'm gonna have a look round first though. There's a Thai place here. I'm weighing up Thai and it's so weird because I never used to like Thai food, but I'm definitely, it's definitely growing on me. Um, they do fried rice with shrimps or pad thai. I don't know where to get that or the noodles. I think I'm gonna get the noodles. So I got a very tasty looking chicken noodles. And look at this huge coconut drink I bought. This was $3.50 and this was $5.50. And that is my meal till tonight when I go to the Spanish restaurant. I finished lunch, it was very tasty. Now I'm gonna go ahead to get a tan, or try to get a tan at least. I worked out that lunch and the coconut cost me about five pounds, which is why I love hawker centers so much because Singapore is obviously a super expensive place. It's more expensive than London here. In some ways, not in all. Um, but the hawker centers are just such a great way to eat affordable food and also buy from locals and not chain restaurants guys i spotted another tourist on the beach i'm no longer the only tourist here so i've kind of come down a bit from where she is because i don't want to like go to the same place as her but um i don't think i've ever seen like a beach this quiet and here is my private beach for the afternoon This would be such a good place to come down and meditate and the sun's come back out i can't even see <laughs> moved into the shade because that sun is so hot and i just don't want to overdo it because i have very sensitive skin i don't know if any of you watched my how long bay vlog but i got um i get a rush sometimes from the sun so yeah i've done like an hour in the sun and now i'm going to come in the shade and relax because i'm being sensible <laughs> I've been at the beach for a few hours and now I'm going to head back via a 7-Eleven, one of my favourite shops in Asia, and go get like an iced coffee or something like that. That'll be really nice and I can't wait to have a shower. <laughs> I've got sand all over me. I've noticed a lot of security cameras up, which I actually really like when I see a lot of CCTV because you definitely feel more secure. But to be honest, I don't feel um, unsafe in Singapore at all. I mean, it's a big city, there's crime, of course, like there is anywhere, but yeah, I don't feel unsafe here at all. Um, and I've noticed there's toilets like everywhere, which is so good. I'm hoping, oh, sorry. I nearly got run over by a bike. I'm hoping that there's a place for me to wash my feet because I've got loads of sand. So let's see if there is. So there's actually showers, which is so good and it's so clean. And then you've got some outdoor showers here as well. My grab is just arriving. This is the little car park area. I think he's gonna come through here. I've arrived at 7-Eleven. I can't wait to get a nice cool drink.
I'm just walking back now. I've got my iced coffee. My favorite thing, my favorite drink in Asia is just like an iced latte or like an iced chocolate. And this is a, an example of a residential road. It's super expensive to live in Singapore though. Like I think a grab driver was telling me the other day just to like buy one of these houses it would be like five, five, ten million Singapore dollars. People just don't tend to buy houses here, they tend to rent. But it's just like the prices for the houses are crazy compared to the UK. I mean I thought the UK prices were crazy. But they are nice houses and they're air conned. <laughs> so that counts for something. One of the things that I love about the condos here is that they come with swimming pools and gyms usually. And I just would love to have a condo with a pool and a gym. It's just such a like better life. In the UK we have to pay like £100 just for a gym and swim membership. So yeah, I just think at one point in my life I will move to Asia and have a condo with a pool and gym. <laughs>